hello guys thank you guys for watching and welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to troubleshoot some inter vlan routing okay so the objectives for this activity is locate the network problems implement solution and verify network connectivity okay and this is the um, topology that we're going to be troubleshooting today and let's see take a look at this scenario in this activity you will troubleshoot connectivity problems caused by improper configuration re related to VLANs and inter VLAN routing and inter VLAN routing that is referring to what we call routing on a stick and is the when a routing is using basically VLANs to route them um, where they're supposed to go. So if, if they are like in VLAN 10, we create what is called, is called a sub interface and add that, as you can see right here, sub interface and add an IP address to it with the default gateway. Okay. And by doing this, we are able to reach the outside network or outside or of the subnet subnet or domain so let's go ahead and start troubleshooting let's see what we part one is locate the network problems so we need to examine the network and locate the source of any connectivity issues test connectivity and use the necessary show commands on to verify configurations List all the problems and possible solutions in the documentation table. I'm not really going to use this, but if you guys want to go ahead and use it, go ahead and do it. Part 3, implement solutions and verify network connectivity for part 3. And then, after you're done, you can just click on check results, okay? So, I'm just going to start by going to the router. I'm going to do a show run from here. Let's do show run. And I can already see um, an error from here. So the encapsulation for this is supposed to be that 1Q10 instead of 30. This one's supposed to be 10, and this one is supposed to be 30 over here. I can also see that the IP address is completely wrong. So we're going to have to fix that right so let's go ahead and fix that first we can go to config t and what we can do is go to interface gigabit sub interface and do no IP address um, okay let's also do a no IP address and let's do no encapsulation no okay let me do a two show run to see if we were able to get rid of the IP address so we were not able to get rid of this IP address What if we just delete it all together? Let's go ahead and delete this interface. Exit. No. Okay, that's down. Let's also do this one. So I've deleted both of them. So what we can do is start from the beginning. Slash, where's it slash one or slash zero? Slash one. Dot ten encapsulation dot q ten and the correct IP address is this one over here. Paste it over here. Now shut it down. Now let's go to dot thirty, the sub interface, and we can do dot q dot thirty. 
and change this IP address. Mm. So I did it wrong. It's supposed to be one, and this is supposed to be thirty right here. Okay. Now shut down. Do show run. Verify that I configured this correctly. Here we go. Encapsulation. That one Q10 interface. The correct sub interface. This one is thirty. This one is correct, and this is good. So it looks like the router um, is good to go. Let's see. I don't think this one has a IP address. Let's go ahead and take a look at this addressing table. And no, we were not given any IP address for it. So what we can do is now go ahead and take a look at the switch. The switch is supposed to have a trunk link between the router and the and the switch right here this one is supposed to be a trunk link so let's go ahead and verify that we have a trunk link over here so what I can start is with that show run okay let's take a look and as you can see right here this interface is an access this is supposed to be a trunk link and it's supposed to allow VNN 10 and 30. Let's go ahead and do that. So it's port mode trunk. VNN 10 and 30. Exit. Let's just go ahead and do a nice shutdown. Let's see what else we can find. So this is on six, which is supposed to be an access port, and it's supposed to allow VLAN 30. It is allowing VLAN 30, and it is an access, so that's good. Let's go ahead and take a look at VLAN 11 or VLAN 10 on fast Ethernet port 011. So VLAN 10, and it is an access port, so this is good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these IP addresses. This IP address is supposed to be 172.17.10.24. And we can see right here that this is correct. And this is also correct. That's the um, this IP address that we configure right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the computer. Make sure that it has the correct IP address. It does, but it does not have the correct default gateway. It's supposed to be 30.1. Now this is good. Let's go ahead and try to ping this IP address over here from VNN30. And here it is, it is working correctly. The first one always fails because of ARP trying to find these the MAC address. And there it is. So now let's see if I'm able to ping PC1 from PC3 and it should be able to do it. Since I was able to get a reply from PC3 when I was pinging from PC1, but you never know, let's go ahead and ping it. And there it is. We were able to ping both computers from, from VLAN 10 to VLAN 30 and from VLAN 30 to VLAN 10. Now let's go ahead and submit this and check the results. And there it is. Congratulations. You successfully completed the packet tracer troubleshooting into VLAN routing activity. However, your final score may change based on your answers to the questions in the instructions. Consult your instructor. So we still finish it correctly so if we got this message you are good to go so thank you guys for watching and if you guys want more activities like that you can go ahead and go to my website at cc 
dtt.com and you are going to be able to find a lot of activities like this one and I'm also going to add this activity to the description below the video so you guys can download it and follow this video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye bye